in probably five years. Um, first of all, thank you, Jack. Thank you, Kim. Thank you for having me here tonight. Um, it's amazing. Um, I remember when Hoda was interviewing me and when um, it, it was, I had 17 rounds of chemo and um, in the middle of it, um, probably towards the tail end of it, the Today Show asked me to come up to New York um, to talk about triple negative. And triple negative had only been, um, breast cancer hadn't been broken down into these different types of breast cancer. And triple negative had only been named maybe five years before I learned that I had it. So not a lot of people knew about triple negative. So I felt that it was my responsibility as a storyteller to talk about it. But it was the weekend of Snowmageddon, if you remember <laughs> Snowmageddon. And it was uh, snowing up and down the East Coast. And I, but I was you know, so determined through this whole period that, that I got on the train alone. I knew I had to be back for chemo on Thursday. It was, you know, I was cutting it tight, but I was darned if I was gonna miss that interview. And so I'll never forget Snowmageddon and how I nearly missed chemo <laughs> in order to do that interview with Hoda. Um, I'm sorry she's not still here. Um, you know, getting, I, I will never forget September 28th, 2009. Um, it was a two days after I was with my dear friend Rena Nainen, who's here tonight with me. She uh, is a correspondent with ABC News, but she was at Fox with me in Jerusalem prior to that. And uh, she had just gotten married that weekend, and I was down at her wedding. And I came back from the wedding in Florida, and I got the call Monday morning as I was heading to the Pentagon. And uh, my sister came running in, and I was getting ready for work. And, you know, it stops you in your tracks when you hear the... Uh, those words, as Hoda said, um, you have cancer. And the only way that I got through that period was with friends like Rena, who all of my friends from, <laughs> from all of our postings all over the world, uh, they immediately started emailing each other and they set up a food um, a chain for me because one of the things, one of the things about triple negative breast cancer is that it's, it's negative for um, estrogen, progesterone, and HER2 uh, it's negative for it. and and they don't have a tamoxifen or a Herceptin to prevent a recurrence. And the one thing you can do is eat really healthy and become almost vegan and really clean out your diet and exercise. And that's why you saw me exercising through chemo because that was as important to me as the chemotherapy. And so my friends got together and they all, <laughs> everyone from, you know, it really, I felt like that moment and It's a Wonderful Life where they show up and all and people come and bring, and they were having food delivered to me, vegan food. They didn't trust me that I could cook. <laughs> <laughs> and I had the six-month-old uh, Luke, Luke, my Luke. I'll, I'll always remember how far it's, how long it's been since I've had cancer because Luke is now five years old. So. <laughs> In fact, we were just on vacation for spring break, and he still he's very affectionate, and you know, the, and, and he put my face between his. He goes, "Tell me why you were bald again." <laughs> and he, he keeps wanting me. To, he keeps saying he wants me to have princess hair. <laughs> I, I said, "Look, I'm not going to have princess hair anymore." I'm, I'm, I, and I joke with him, and he doesn't get the joke because he's still five. That I broke the color barrier at Fox, <laughs> so so I'm not going back. <laughs> uh, the reason evenings like this are so important, and your support is so important, is that the cancer support community, what they're doing, and you can't just treat cancer with medicine. The holistic approach that they're taking and the love and the, 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 um, what your family and friends will do for you, that's what gets a cancer patient through this. So um, I thank you. I'm very touched to be here tonight. Um, thank you for this 